a plus b is x minus 4 plus 1, and a minus b is x minus 4 minus 1. Simplifying, this gives us the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 5. Please note that this is exactly what we got when we factored. So really, compared with factoring, completing the square was a lot of work in this case. But there are plenty of cases where we have expressions that we can't factor in which completing the square will actually help us. It'll make our lives easier. Here it wasn't really necessary because we could have factored the initial expression.